Hello, welcome to Design Fusion. My name is Nero Mystery, and today we will see a uh, overview of brand new feature that is implicit modeling. Quick introduction about implicit modeling. So Siemens introduced this application in December 2020 release. This is a part of uh, design uh, portfolio from Siemens NX and if we can talk about the licensing so it comes as a floating add-on license and the product code is nx30802 now if we can discuss about some basic information for implicit modeling like what are the implicit modeling what are the options it has so uh, implicit modeling basically create a structure with the uh, equation Siemens NX predefined or pre-configure a structure like gyroid structure uh, diamond shape and many more the good thing for this structure is it is self-supportive so whenever you use any kind of this structure in your additive manufacturing you don't require to create or the structure don't require to create the support and one another good thing uh, regarding the properties so whenever you produce any product or any parts this kind of structure is very convenient for heat transfer performance or heat transfer application so we will see in our demo session what are the steps and what are the things you can set for your implicit modeling so in here we have an assembly that is for a sleeper and it has two components that is the top portion and the bottom of the sole so in this model if we can see the session view we have a solid portion for the bottom and we can use our implicit modeling to make a porous inside so we will have a sponginess or softness whenever you you wear this sleeper so we will see how we can use our implicit modeling in this scenario so i will open this part in a separate window and uh, one good thing in a new annex you can use a uh, two one side by side window for the multitasking so here is your assembly and here is your single part so whatever you make changes here you it will reflect automatically here and you will able to see what are the changes we have implicit modeling here so in here it will open a new task manager so in task manager we will see like we have options for all the bases like uh, different different kind of structure here and Siemens also predefined some general equations for the shape so uh, basically you can use this equation and create the shape based on the uh, your input so we will see uh, step by step so first I will I want to use the gyroid structure here and in gyroid structure we will have uh, some uh, basic information like uh, you want to use uh, uniform cell or ununiform cell based on your requirement you can fill the details also you can so first we will select the body here and in here you will able to see uh, uh, one gyroid structure uh, you can change the dimension as you require if you want you can also change the in the location or orientation for uh, your gyro structure you can if you want you can also minimize and maximize the uh, porosity so uh, this is good nice so it has a slider you can move it in positive and negative direction and you if you want you can just uh, see the preview and you will able to see the preview for uh, updated uh, gyro structure in your selected body 
so in here we will have uh, some thyroid uh, structure body and I kind of like it so I will click OK and I will finish the feature and I will just hide the, my original outer body and we will able to see a uh, structure and it has some porous porosity so the next step uh, I want to utilize this uh, implicit modeling in my uh, outer body or inside this uh, bottom portion of the sleeper so I again go to implicit modeling and uh, turn on my outer body and uh, hide the implicit uh, or the structure I have created earlier and from here I will import a body so after you import the body it will create a convergent convergent model convergent model and we will just check how it looks like from inside so we have to go in a view and we can create the sex section view and we need uh, our gyro structure inside so we have to make this portion as a hollow so in here we can select the cell and select the body the convergent body and put it require a thickness for your wall and it will create uh, shallow portion inside this convergent body and click OK and you will able to see the hollow portion and I will finish this sketch here and I will extract the body and I want to limit my gyro structure till this surface the inside surface and I will hide this again so this is my uh, extruded or extracted uh, body to perform or cut or trim the my gyro structure to uh, fill inside to the bottom portion and I will uh, trim the body from trim the so I will trim the structure from my extracted surface and I will I want to remove the outer portion so I will change the direction and uh, perform the next step and I will hide my extracted body so you will able to see the structure is uh, trim based on your extracted body okay so I will hide the extracted structure uh, uh, trim body and open the exit structure and I will also turn on our outer bodies I have to subtract the main body so I will click here and trim and I want to trim from my exit body and the direction should be inside because I have to remove from the outer body I will click okay. so it will create a hollow portion here and I will turn off my extracted body and I will turn again turn on my gyroid structure which I was subtracted from the extruded surface and now I want to merge the outer body and inside portion so we have a uh, two different uh, body here so we will unite this body so we will unite this portion of our outer body and our gyroid structure and click OK so we are able to uh, merge our gyroid structure in our outer body so we, if we can see our section view right this is our whole body and if we turn on the section view here if we move it like you will able to see the porosity inside the, the bottom portion of the sleeper okay so I will turn off the 
session and I created separate uh, reference set so I will include this body in my reference set and it will update it in assembly as well so I will save this part here and I will close this part so in assembly it's automatically updated so we will see again in a section view so we will have a porous material inside our bottom portion of sleeper so this is how you can create a structure with the equation with the brand new feature that is implicit modeling thank you for watching this video for more video Please subscribe our YouTube channel or visit our website www.designfusion.com. Thank you.